All right, guys, welcome back to another Mad Max. And I want to say a massive thank you to everyone from the first video. You guys showed so much love on that first episode. And that's the reason why we're on part two. So we're going to be continuing with our adventure. What are you doing under there? <laughs> I cannot be safe. I'm just saying. I have gone around the, at the top level too. There was some like scrap just left around. Oh, these people are not doing so good. We, uh, we have to speak with Chum about a sniper rifle. Oh, can I get a crossbow? Please. Some more scrap here. I'm a little bit scared that they're going to get mad of me taking that. Okay, 100% looted. I get... Oh! Is that our dog? Okay, so one thing that I didn't realize that I know a lot of you guys picked up on in the previous episode is... I don't like your face. <laughs> okay. I want to say Dinky D because was, he was named after the, uh, the dog food, right? Dinky D, we didn't see escape, and I'm hoping that he didn't explode in that that wreck back there of uh, of Chum Bucket's old hideout. I have a deal with G. You build me that sniper rifle, then we head out. We have work to do. Praise me! <laughs> oh, just you find me the parts, and I'll get cracking. Okay. I have it. Huh? I have it, Saint. And just help me find the requisite parts and uh, some kind of a trigger mechanism. Huh? In the cage. Just having a little bit of a look around before we head up there and we collect everything we need for that sniper rifle. I wonder if this is a brand new engine that Chum Bucket's working on for the car. Max got a little bit upset that we had a, uh, a V6 in there and he wanted a V8. So I wonder if he's actually doing that. If there's any like car nuts out there, let me know. Is that a V8? Does it look like one? <laughs> I like to think I know a little bit about cars, but when it comes to engines, that's not my expertise at all. These guys sound like they're just having a really bad time all around. I don't know if it's because of you or just because of the circumstances. Right, let's see what we got. Collect the trigger mechanism. We got it. All right, Chum Bucket, we'll come in. Install the sniper right. Wait, we're installing it on the car. All right, let's see. Select sniper rifle, got it. So we got that now, we got all the parts for it. Max has collected the trigger mechanism and enough scrap to install the sniper rifle. Let's do it. Only 40 scrap too. Installed, perfect. Long shot installed and ready for action. Oh. I'd say we have gained us an upper hand. <laughs> I really like Chum Bucket's voice. He sounds like kind of crazy, but almost like he's in control of it. You know what I'm saying with that? Exit Jeep Stronghold. Okay, got it. Let's get in this thing. I'm so glad as well so many of you guys agreed with the decision. Slide over. Time to put the sniper rifle to the test. Okay, Mark, sniper rifle is a deadly weapon attached to the magnum opus. Without fail. Equip. Oh, they switch around. Oh! Okay. And... Oh, well, it's a door. beautiful thing! Nice balance. Oh, it My really is. We're controlled by otherworldly forces. Just didn't want to cut Chum Bucket's uh, dialogue out there. There we go. Oh, that feels so good. Hold. Okay, so we can. Oh, we can like duck down with that too. Look at that. Space to evade. Right click to aim. We're going to enter back into the vehicle. Oh, I love the little transition too. Switching with Chum Bucket. I need a recon. Okay, doing a little bit of recon. I wonder if Chum Bucket will actually ever drop. Oh, I'm going for it. I don't care. I don't care. We're going for it. Here it is. Get over it. Oh, so worth. So, so worth. Drive to the Dead Baron's Pass. Okay. Lord Scrotus's presence is heavy here. everywhere. Lord Scrotus's presence is heavy here. Oh, we got a sniper back there. I wonder if... Oh, do we try it? Yeah, we have to try it. Let's see if we can hit that guy. Gotta get in there. Don't quite see him. Whoa, careful now. These guys on the way up here, they were they were pretty much everywhere. You can run into them. You can you can basically fight them. I chose not to, though. I just I skipped most of them and got to where we needed to get to. Do we want to pull this down? I don't think there's any way I can explode these, so... Right, let's switch to the uh, harpoon. A 
Let's just pull this down. Let them know we're in the area. Oh, yeah. Threat lowered. Oh, it's the threat level. Oh, that makes so much more sense. I wonder what the sniper rifle does to these guys. <laughs> A lot, apparently. There we go. <laughs> Destroy four scarecrows. Done. Level up. Oh, yeah. We're getting all the XP. Nice. I want to know what that balloon does up there. I really wanted to stick to the uh, the main missions. Whenever we do anything like this, I tend to not kind of veer off too much. Or I try to. <laughs> but I, there's something about this that's making... Look at that over there. That's got to be gas burning, right? The oil fields. I'm going to take this, uh, this other scarecrow down. And I'm going to find out what that air balloon is. I have to know. Wait, did he say don't smash into it? Is that bodies? Okay, let's just ignore that for the time being. We get a little bit closer. Can we not get that? There it is. Oh, nice. Oh, it's got some range. Come on, Max. Get it down. Threat load again. We're not seeing the camp. Oh, there we go. It's dropping again. Is that a little camp? Look at this. There's so much to see. Oh. <gasps> All right, let's go and take a look at the air balloon. But yeah, like I was saying, I don't want to veer too much away from the main storyline. Although inevitably, now I've said that, I'm going to. So <laughs> I don't know how long this is going to be, but as long as you guys are enjoying this, just drop a like on the video. Is that a tank? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, we need to find out what's going on there. That is, that's like one of those really old, is it World War I style tanks? It looks a lot bigger, actually. Maybe, like, it's based off that. Where's the door? I can hear Chum Bucket, like, fixing the car, probably after that massive drop we had. Is this sniper down there? Let's not expose ourselves. God, look at the... There's a convoy on the way. Is that a zip line? So many questions. All right. I guess... Oh! Oh, I thought it was a sandstorm. There's <laughs> so much going on. Right. We're going to head to the, uh, the Dead Baron's Pass. And then I'll get to this all in good time. So many shiny things for me to take a look at. You know me by now, guys. What have we got? What's this? Something's burning. Oh, that's not good. Can we help them? Are they friend or foe? Let's see. You okay? Oh, well, they were... I think they were a bad guy. Well, if they weren't, that's like... <laughs> that's a little bit unfortunate. <laughs> what I just did there. And are they getting mad over that side because of what I just did to the scarecrow? I mean, I got 10 scrap from that person, so I can't, <laughs> I can't complain. Don't see anybody hanging out. Don't want to damage my car. They're doing what? Oh, they're going to hit the car. Don't you do it. Oh, wait, why can't... I oh, no, I'm off ammunition. No, switch. Jump bucket, get inside, quick! Go, go, go! Take the fuel tank. It's oh my god, go, 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 go! Oh, that was horrible. Okay, put the brakes on. Okay, side hit. Oh, we're not doing good. Oh, the magnum opus, no! Get out of there, Max. Oh, okay, right, we gotta think, we gotta think. We're being... Brakes on, there we go. If they wanna use the speed, they can. We gotta outmaneuver them. We definitely don't have the legs to take them on like that. Oh my god, I don't think we're gonna survive this. Go. Just go. Stretch your legs. Convoy route discovered. Ooh. Careful now. A little bit of braking. Nice. I need a little bit of breathing room just so I can oh get away from these guys. Nice, they left me alone. Okay, I see where we got to get to, right? Chum Bucket, do you think? Do you think? Quick. We're massively on fire, Chum Bucket, please. Oh, we're getting shot at too. <laughs> Everything is bad. <laughs> Everything is bad. Oh, wait a minute. Is that... Are they like fishing nets on the floor too from this being an ocean? Or is it just like dried sticks and stuff? Oh my God, that's a hell of a shot. Hold on, we need to just hide for a second. Let's just stay here. Jump bucket. Fix it up, please. I think if I go to the front too, you can, like, quick repair. There we go. Yeah, let's just quick repair that. All right, while you fix that jump bucket, I'm going to just have a little explore over this way. God, I love how the sand's kicking up as well. 
and see people coming in. We may as well take over this spot then. Don't you throw rocks. Don't see a way up. Is it this? All right, we're doing it. We're doing it. There it is. Ooh, oh, the throat punch every time. Block. Oh, the elbow. And nice. Oh, you just you just don't mess with Max. You guys are wearing helmets. Oh, and I missed that with ease too. God, it makes you feel like such a badass. Pick up the shiv. Ooh, okay. And Punisher is done. Oh, right in the side of the neck. That was like Achilles. If you know, you know. Is he done? Ooh. Oh, it's so, so good to do this. I'm definitely going to work on getting some more of the uh, of the combinations. I think we need them. And the backhand to finish it off. Beautiful. Can I have the uh, the scraps, please? Still a little bit, like, glitchy with the whole movement thing on mouse and keyboard. I do have my controller next to me, too, in case we need to switch it up. In fact, at some point, I did want to kind of get a feel for what the driving was like with a controller. You guys said it was more suited to that. I'm just so used to using mouse and keyboard now. All right, got some more fuel. Nothing else I can use there. We still got to drive to the Dead Baron's Pass. Look at this, though. They're using what they can. It's taking shelter from the elements. Oh, it's so, so cool. There's nothing much that I can take. If we wanted to take over it, we could. Can we climb back out of that? I think so. Just drop down. Some scraps. That's a win. Anything else? I mean, that's worth it. If that's all we're going to get from it. Let's get out of this spot. Hopefully chump. There's another balloon there. Oh, there's a broken bridge. So, the thing about this, the reason why I'm a little bit gobsmacked is because I got a lot of you guys saying that I would really enjoy the world on this. Now, I, I get those kind of comments a lot, and then sometimes I'll take a look at it and I go, I see what you were saying, but it's a little bit too much at times. I can't really give an example off the top of my head now, but a lot of people were saying it's very simplistic apocalypse, and I know exactly what you were talking about. It says it all right here. Look at that. The turbines are shut down, broken, to a long time gone. And we're all fixed up. So long for you, Saint. Let's go get to the pass. I can feel you. Wrecking, screaming. You become flesh. God, that sound. I can't imagine what it's going to be like when we get the V8. Wait, did I miss something back there? Because it's showing on the map like the... Uh, is that just for the water, I guess? Maybe it's just some scrap opportunity. We're going to leave it for now. I can always come back and get this stuff. That's fine. Let's get over and do the objective. We have a little bit of time in between the missions. I guess we can do that. <laughs> it's John Bucket getting excited over the boost. Let's go. Get over those dunes. Sniper. Big old sniper, too. Long shots up ahead. I see it. I can take him out with the sniper rifle. The what? The long shot. No. Uh, I have a few rounds. Oh, the way that sniper deploys is so cool. I don't really see these guys. Yeah, no, I'm not going to take the shot if I don't really have an eyeball on them. Let me rotate around a little bit. Chum can drive the Magnum Opus while Max has the sniper rifle. Okay, I wondered that. Let's go. Ooh, was that a pot shot? I think it was. Easy now. And let's just... Drop back, switch. I can get that one a little bit lower down. He's the threat. Headshots. I think he's round the back. Okay. I have to concentrate. Yes, of course, of course you're with Is he telling Chum Bucket to be quiet while he shoots? Don't tell Chum Bucket to be quiet. Maybe if I get around this side. I'm a little bit worried over here though, because this is where the entrance is. I don't want it to jump into a cutscene. Oh, I see him. I see him. Switch. Oh, we're moving. Oh, God. Chum bucket, no. Nice. I'm never going to get tired of the way that sniper rifle collapses on itself. Right, this is the entrance. Don't actually know why we're here. I know why we needed the sniper rifle. Oh, is it just to actually get inside? I'm going to take a look. Okay. Yes, but please, hurry back. This is very, very bad. Bad terrain. Risky. Aww. 
Chumbuck is all nervous. Reach the lookout point and scout the jaw. Is that just the expanse or a specific area that we've not been to yet? I should be looking around for certain things as well, like scrap, because I do want to upgrade that car as quick as possible. But yeah, like I was saying before, so many of you guys said that you were happy with the choice that I made. And some people were pointing out too, I believe the body style or the body of that is called a fastback. Which is uh, the Mustang, right? I thought it looked familiar. Alright, the fact that he doesn't actually hold out the shotgun as well. Has you on edge a little bit, but the fighting style of Max. Ooh. No, you don't. Shh, 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 shh. Can we stay crouched? Let's jump. Oh, it's so weird. The controls are so backwards in this. Oh, they're... Whoa. Whoa! Oh, you look amazing. Some more shells. Probably going to use the shotgun on that guy. Unless I get a melee weapon in which I'm definitely going to use that. Oh, here he is. Evade to avoid the barge attacks. Okay. You're going to take two shells. Okay. Let's put a little bit of space in between us. You going to attack again? Nice. And... I'll take that. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh. oh, it's just so nice. Move out of the way. Oh, it's brutal. And I... Oh, it's so good. Oh, against the wall. Oh. Ground strike. Just slap him. Slap him like a boat paddle. There it is. I'm still swinging away. Why not? Just keep swinging, Max. <laughs> Too much fun. And collect the loot. Oh my goodness. Okay. I was hoping that we would get... Oh, look at this. It's like a massive meat cleaver. I was hoping we would get more in the way like melee stuff we can use. One of the biggest surprises for me so far, I mean, away from the, the way this all looks, is how the melee works and how flawless it almost is. Oh, that's a bad time all around. Let's ignore that. But it works so, so well. A little bit of water here. Nice. Any opportunity we can get to fill that water bottle up or the canteen up, we absolutely have to take it. That is literally our lifeline. And there's somebody above us by the sounds of it. Ooh. What is this? Who's that? Zelda, this is your granddad, Hank. I'm sad you never got to meet him. He had some fun stories to tell. I don't know half of what dad got up to in the 60s, but I know it was very hush-hush. He was working for the government up until five years ago, when he disappeared on a job in one of those Arabic countries. So sad. These wars are killing us all. Wars, famine, disease, murder. Killed us all. I don't know why, but that character... Rem is that a toilet? <laughs> that is one hell of a toilet. That character reminds me of someone. It was the shirt. If anybody knows who that is, let me know in the comments. Unless it's a spoiler. And of course, please refrain. <laughs> right, where are we going? Up this way? Let's head up top. Take a look at the... I think it said the jaw. Which I'm guessing at this point is a, uh, an area that we've not been to. Little desk for someone. We can climb this. I love how it holds on to the melee weapon and the jerry cans too, even when we're climbing. Nice little detail. Some shotgun shells. Oh, look at that view. All right, ooh, careful. <laughs> careful now. I'm hoping that I did take care of all the snipers as well, because this is going to be bad news. What on earth is that? All right, I've got some snipers down there. That must be it. We're not ready to take that off. No oh, my... What are they doing? Are they just patrolling? What is that thing? So these... That, it's like the buggy that we've been... Oh, yeah, no. These are all more modified. Okay. So these are the guys that mean business. Is this where uh, Scrotus is? Or is this just like a checkpoint or something? God, that looks so cool, though. All right, let's close that up. Return to Chum. We can't jump down anywhere. We got a zip line here. I'm hoping. Yes, we can. Oh, there it is. The car needs more power and grip. It needs side armor and Ooh. a grill to shield the nose. 
hunchback and make it happen if I bring in the parts. Okay, so he's talking about just upgrading everything then? I like that. Let's climb down. I don't know what I just did to that ladder, by the way. I think I kicked something off the top so I can use it. I didn't actually see. All right, Chumbucket, you doing good? Yeah, he's back there. Your plans for this car, building it up. You gotta do it before we can get past the jaw. These black fingers are ready to dance, Saint. Oh, yeah. And I know just the steps, too. It's called the Jack. A wasteland classic. <laughs> we it off and our, our chances of survival grow tenfold. Then the harpoon? Soon, soon. <laughs> but she needs the basics first, huh? The car is weak. Agreed. Let's return to Jeets first, huh? Then I'll show you the plans. Ooh, that just reminded me as well. A lot of you guys were saying, into madness, I need to get past the jaw to get to Ga Gas Town. However, that would be suicide unless we get the Magnum Opus in better shape. Yeah, we need more armor and stuff. A lot of you guys were saying that the uh, the kind of blueprints that Chumbucket had on his wall looked like Australia or an outline of Australia or something, which was like a, a, an homage to uh, the movies and where it's set and stuff, which I missed. So that's really cool that they did that. All right, let's head back. Hopefully we've got some plans now to upgrade the uh, the car. The only problem is, once you add armor, doesn't that slow it down? I would much prefer the maneuverability side over the uh, the armor. Do we do it? Oh, we do it! Oh, I just missed. No! <gasps> Did I make a mistake? Oh. <laughs> do not come chasing Max. Oh no! Oh god, no. Oh god, no. Oh god, no. Oh! They're trying to run me down. And. So good. Reload, Max. Reload. Oh, we're in it. Oh, we're so in it. They've all got weapons, too. Don't be throwing stones. No, that's just not fair. Gotta take care of them quick. Get out of there. If I can get one of their melee weapons, then this might be good. Block it. Oh, Max, you're such a badass. Oh, going for the knee. You can just feel the power. Oh, look at those moves. I can't imagine what he's going to be like. Oh, we're building it up. <laughs> oh, feels bad to be you. Oh, the spine kick right in the center of the chest. We didn't even need to use this, but I would have liked to. So that's got like a level one above it. Does this mean it's been upgraded a little bit? They were trying to run me over too. Ooh, there's a sniper there. All right, do we have rounds? Two rounds. Nice. I want to know what these balloons are doing. But it's just kind of staggered around the map just to let you know what area you're in or something like that, but if we can go up in that, I'm absolutely going to do that. I think we can. There's a basket there. Right, let's go. Keep the car back a little bit. I feel really bad when I leave Chumbucky. It's almost like when he says, when you're getting out of the car, he sounds really scared. <laughs> I hate that. We need to get him a weapon or something. Can we drop those ladders down? Yeah, not really. What is that thing? What's this? Wind chime? We go up this way and then... Oh, this is it. It looks like you can go up in that air balloon. I just don't know what the point of it is. Maybe just to, to get a look of the surroundings, like, uh, like a lookout in other games. Some scrap. And some... Inky D? Is that what that is? Health is already full. Can we not hold on to that, though? Some music going on. We can't get inside. Oh, wait. There we go. Hold. Enter the air balloon. Oh, nice. Ascend. Destroy the wire hinges. There's one. That's definitely done the trick. I hope it doesn't take off when I do this now. <laughs> wait, do I actually have the ammunition to... Oh, I don't. How else can I do that, though? I think I have one round with the uh, the sniper rifle. Most 
Let's try that. Chum Bucket, listen, as much as I want to know what you're talking about, I've got to do something. And I'm going to need another round by the looks of it. Don't have another do it. Oh, nice. Nice. Okay, perfect. Right, let's get out. You can hop straight out the back too. Nice touch. So now we should be able to go straight up into the air. I'm guessing that's what it is. Oh, we're going up. <laughs> I actually don't know how high we could get with this. And yeah, I think that's what it is then. Yeah, you can see that the kind of the camera's zoomed out so you can see. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, it does. It unlocks areas then. Fuel veins. Jade. Best make good on our deal. Whoa, look at those. Okay, he was talking to the, uh, the person that we went and took sh uh, shelter with then. Oil pump camp. Oil pump camps can be found scattered all over the wasteland. They drill for the crude oil that fuels Scrotus's refinery in Gastown. Many are found in complex locations and can be challenging to infiltrate without scouting first. Keep an eye out for the secret entrances and intel gatherers willing to share their information. Okay. And there we go. This is the map. What? Okay. That is a pretty big map. <laughs> okay. Right. We've got a lot of work ahead of us. So I think what we should do then, right? Let's just... I've got to go up. I've got to go up. I need to see how high this can go. Is that gas town over there? Something's telling it me is, right? It's like... It's basically like a big flag saying, yes, <laughs> this is where you're going to get to. Oil pump camp. That's Jeet Stronghold. We've got another camp down there. Oh, those things. Let's break out the binoculars a second. What are you? Oh, Scarecrow? And a sniper? Oh, so you can actually... Yeah, it's straight up recon then. And it shows on the map as well. Nice. How high can we go? Look at that sky too. Out of fuel. Damn, this is actually really high. There's nothing like a parachute or anything, so I can't jump down. So now we've got to go all the way down. <laughs> oh boy, this might take a minute. All right, I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so I stumbled across this camp again. And I think I'm going to try and ooh, take down this, whatever it is. Oh! Shoot up his tire? Can we not grab him? <laughs> that works. Ooh. And nice. Oh, wait, we didn't do much damage there. It carries a great and powerful artifact on its hood. Those guys? Okay, yeah. I'm going to have to interrupt those convoys later on when I've got a little bit more in the way of armor. Right now, I don't have anything. And... Nice. Come on, big guy. It's so fun doing that. Don't you do... Ooh, okay. And... Take the door. So this is going to take two shots then. What do you have there? What? What is this? And driver. Nice. Okay. Right, right. Uh, Let's have a look at his ride. Look at that thing on the front. Oh my god. He's got the scoop on the engine as well. What are those? Are they like explosives so if he breaks hard or something? Or maybe just something he sets on fire to make himself look like more of a bad... Oh, we can drive them? Oh, I had no idea you could do that. What does this thing drive like? Oh, listen. <laughs> and what's the boost like? Oh, it's nice. Jump bucket, we need one of these. ASAP. Let's go in for a real, real hot boost on the side of that. This might fall. Oh, so we can go in undetected in their own vehicles. Oh, I didn't think of that before. Okay. And... Let's claim that scrap. Again, just something new that we didn't learn before. We can go in undetected if we use their rides. Perfect. Love the sound of that thing as well, whatever it was. Might have been a V8, might have been a V6. Sounded better than ours, whatever it was. Right, Chumbucket, I'm coming back. All right, we made it back to Jeet Stronghold. And the drawbridge is up. Can we get a honk or something? Yeah, 
Yep. We're gonna do it. Listen to these guys. The question is, would you guys share your water a little bit? I just give them at least a little bit. Keep them going, you know? Give them that hope. Here it is, Saint. My plans for the Jack. Oh, oh. she'll be perfect. Speed, power, huh? tenacious durability. Take a look-see. Take a look-see. Ooh, what we got? Archangels such as the Jack are special magnum opus configurations revered by Chum. Wait, this is free? The Rockmore Brawler? Do you wish to purchase and install Rockmore Brawler? Front, back. F okay, let's put it on the front. I mean, I don't know if that changes how the car is. Oh, it's just like a little hood ornament. Okay. And that's why it was saying new. Wait, is there another one? Oh, there is. And then let's put that one on the back. I mean, we got it for free for now, so we may as well. If it looks trash, then we can always remove it later on down the line. Right, what else we got? We got armor, engine exhaust and tires ramming grill yeah we can't upgrade that yet if i was to upgrade anything i would probably just wait for the engine but in all honesty armor is where we were struggling wasn't it so oh wait we can't get that oh okay we need to do another part of the mission in order to unlock that one engine oh standard v6 bantam v6 with this work done she has elevated from rattlebox to engine at least Increased by 20%. Ooh, okay. And I wonder if we have to unlock each one in order to progress, or we can skip it. Exhaust. Okay, we need to uh, get rid of the threat level. That's fine. And then tires. Ooh, this might be helpful. The handling. I wasn't really struggling with the handling with this, but... Maybe I will if I increase the speed, so that might go hand in hand. What do we have? We have 345. That costs 100. And the engine is 100. We can get both of them. Okay. Let's go ahead and get that one. And let's get the tires to try and match that to compensate with the speed. That leaves us on 145. Are we good? Driver. I got a proposition. I wish I had no use for the likes of you. But as you can see, we are fading quick here. What are you getting at? Help us establish some necessities and you'll benefit greatly. I'll see to it personally. I'll take a look. The night promises. Fine, driver. Look around. There are a lot of projects available inside strongholds. Approach each one to seek requirements and rewards so we can help basically upgrade where they're living. I like that. Like the base upgrades. Let's take a look around here because I think that's where it was. Chum Bucket has a new wasteland mission. All right, we'll take a look at that in a second. So it's stuff like this. Survey crew. Assemble a crew that will be able to mark on the map scavenging. Oh, okay. So it's useful to us too, not just to gain favor with him. And there's a whole load of it that we can do around there as well. What was that sound? Poor guy struggling. Right. Like I said, I don't want to veer too far away from the main missions. Everything else we can do a little bit later on. <gasps> yeah, what was you saying? Don't just wait with that. Call our companion saint, hmm? the Dinky D. Do you think he made it out of the inferno that was once my tabernacle? No, uh, burnt to a crisp. Oh, <gasps> food for somebody. No, no, I, no. I think he made it out. Yeah, he's got a survival instinct, that little one, huh? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think he would have sought shelter inside my old buggy. The buggy and the dog would have their uses. Oh my god, okay, so Dinky D didn't die. Return to the wreckage of Chum's hideout and bring the dog and the buggy back to Jeet's stronghold. Chum's buggy and the dog added to the vehicle. <gasps> oh, you guys already know. Let's go get the dog. I kind of just made peace with the fact that we might not see him again. I didn't want to bring attention to it because it would make me really sad. <laughs> I did notice it like five or ten minutes after the episode, but... Okay, use the balloon for vantage points. Okay, we know this. And the threat levels, bringing them down. Scarecrows, convoys, snipers, and the minefields. That's what we're going to do in order to lower the threat. Camps, most efficient way to reduce threats to dismantle the various scrotus camps. Basically, just disassemble everything they've got. We'll need to lower the threat. Stock up on scrap. Yeah, good plan. We should venture to the south, I think. Where scrotus hold is weak. We'll see. Guys, listen to this engine. Oh! Is that a bad guy? 
I don't even care about the damage. Let him have it. Get him out of there. <laughs> All right. I do want to see how this one sounds. Why was it pointing me to... Got the car. It was pointing me to a different mission rather than going for Dinky D. I think I'm actually on the main mission. Yeah, I've got to turn around and go back. I guess we can do this one first. It's no big deal. Undetected by the roadkill faction. So at the beginning when I was talking about putting a different body on the actual uh, chassis that Chum had for us, I wonder if that actually did have an impact. Oh, this sounds nice too. Listen to that. Can we just send this off the edge? And then, oh, this thing is definitely tail happy. Sending all the power to the rear. Right, I'm going to try and jump out of it. If we die, it's for science, okay? Don't shout at me, guys. Here we go. Oh, it doesn't have boost. Never mind. Get out, Max. Oh, we're fine. Oh, get out, Max. <laughs> is it in pieces? Oh, it's absolutely fine. Okay, I thought we could use this as like a quick way of <laughs> getting scrap for vehicles. Wait, what is it? Do we get really lazy here? Oh, yeah, we do. Bring it over to me, chum bucket. Nice. Oh, look at that with the skull as well. Uh, yeah, that's coming off. <laughs> Stupid star on the back isn't staying on. This on the front, though, that can stay. Right, let's get back into the, uh, the action then. Where was we headed? Reduce the threat level in G's territory. Okay, so that's going to be an ongoing thing. That's out of... Bet you need to keep her filled with a steady diet of primo ammunition, huh? Always need ammo. Keep talking. There's something brewing out there. War boys from Gastown are tightening the noose fierce like. I hear their leader Scrotus got his gumball sawed up by some wild deuce. <laughs> this land is about to be scorched by Gastown wrath. Our weapons won't do. I need powder. Black, deadly, and smoky. And that's where I come in, huh? Now, uh, listen! One of my people was taken by Thrall Rustlers sometime past. He sprang himself back here, told me a prisoner there knows the recipe for black powder. You go get me this prisoner, alive and talkative, and he tells me the specs for cooking up the powder. And you're set for ammo for life. Jeet wants to liberate a prisoner with the knowledge of making gunpowder from a roadkill band of slave runners. Locate their hideout cave and free the prisoner. An armory project in Jeet's stronghold. Ooh, so we could literally have an unlimited supply of gunpowder with that? Nice. All right, that was a good call coming back in here then. Enter the Thrall's Rustless Cave. Reduce. So we got multiple missions that we can do. I don't see where it says about Dinky D though. So this is where we are now. I'm sure we came down this road and then... It was like down here, wasn't it? Chum's hideout? Oh yeah, it was this one here. Right, let's set a waypoint for that, and then we'll be on our way. Before we go, though, I am going to change this stupid thing on the back. That's not staying there. <laughs> Don't worry about it, Chum Bucket. I'm taking the controller for a spin, and it is exactly as you guys said. It's way more suited to controller. I don't know. I, I'm not really either one or the other. I can use both. So I think I'm just going to stick with the controller for driving for now. And then for everything else, I'll stick to uh, to mouse and keyboard just to mix it up a little bit. Oh, I see the ship. Come on, let's get back there. All the other stuff about reducing the uh, the threat in Jeet's territory, that kind of side mission, I can, uh, I can do pretty quick just going through the camps. I do want to know if the dog's alive. That is the main point today, right? <laughs> I'm sure everybody will agree. We gotta make sure Dinky D is doing good. We helped him with his injured paw. He was actually Scrotus's dog too. If you guys remember that at the beginning. Oh no! We might not be okay. Yeah, I don't think we're okay. I'm so sorry, Chum Bucket. <laughs> it's burned to a crisp. Oh no! She lives yet. Sturdier than it looks. Ooh. Put the dog in the back of the buggy. Oh, he's there. there you are. Oh. Hey, little guy. Okay, we got him. Let's throw him in the back of the buggy. Get the hell out of this place. You 
I think he's okay as well. I'm taking it back to Jeet's fortress. Meet me there. Meet me there, chum bucket. Alright, let's get in. Where was the way we came in? I didn't actually see. Was it just all one? Okay, we're good. Hold on. Hold on. I see it. I gotta get it. Give me this. Need all of that sweet, sweet scrap. Alright, let's go. Let's get back let's to Jeet's. Using fast travel or abandoning Chum's buggy will reset the objective. Oh, we're okay. We're just grabbing some scrap. Oh, yeah. This is nowhere near what the Magnus Opus was putting out. With those tire upgrades and the engine change. I suppose it's not too bad, though, because we got Dinky D in the back. Also, fun fact. I don't know if you guys heard me uh, mention that before. He's a... Uh... Oh! <gasps> The dog can detect minefields. <laughs> okay. Right, we got to keep an ear out for that. I don't know if you guys heard me before, but I mentioned oh, no. Dinky D. He's actually named. Oh, what? What? What's he barking at? The dog has detected a minefield nearby. Follow the direction. This way? Oh, it's where he's looking. Oh! Oh, I can't let my dog hear that. Oh, you guys are absolutely going to hear Bruno in the recording. <gasps> okay. Around the back of this. I think I see it on the map. Might be stupid driving close to it, but... Okay, boy. Okay, okay, okay. All right, let's see what he's saying. So... This area here, it's just a minefield. I mean, it kind of goes without saying now that I'm seeing it. You can see everything that's exploded. Listen to him, though. Oh, that's so good. Good boy. But yeah, as I've been trying to get to, Dinky D is the actual dog food. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I believe that was actually a thing in Australia for a time. If I'm wrong with that, then I apologize. But I'm pretty sure that was... That was a real thing. What on earth is going on? You need water? So thirsty. Take some water. We can get more of it. As long as they haven't got anything that we can catch to make us sick, it's fine. <gasps> oh no. Day lizard. I mean, we got to help people while we can, right? We would need it if we were in that position. I would like to think someone would do the same for us. All right, let's get Dinky D back. But yeah, apparently the um, the dog food, Dinky D, was actually a thing in Australia. Which I think is, again, just another little nod to uh, to the movies and the whole Australia theme that the movie took place in. And yeah, just some very cool little trivia behind it. You know, I did say that this thing wasn't anywhere near the Magnum Opus, but it's not slow. It's no slouch. Is he back? Oh, there he is. You us a tasty look at the Don't you dare. No, 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 no. You leave him alone. Dinky D's a friend. He's not for eating. We need to find a Damn safe right. place for you to stay, Dinky D. And keep these savages at bay. I'll put something together. Wait. Okay, I'm building it now. Got a little bed for him? Dude next to his bed is really not doing good at all. Look at this poor guy. Oh, he's in a barrel. Chummer's buggy and the dog are unlocked, available to be used. Safely locate minefields, landmines out in the wastelands. Nice. Now start. <laughs> Max, you got to be nice to the dog and to Chum Bucket. I've returned Chum's buggy and the dog to Jeet Stronghold. I think they will prove to have their uses. Nice. Top didn't let you inside. Come on, get it down. There we go. Perimeter defense is eliminated. Where's their gas? Maybe some of them don't actually have the gas on display. Yeah, I'm not seeing it there, is it? Around the back. I mean, we can tear the gates off here. That works, right? Let's get those gates down. He's through the gates. Do you guys catch that? Right, I guess what we'll do then, we'll do one together. And if it is going to be the same thing over and over again, then you guys know what I guess I, ooh, I was doing. Oh, so nice. Pick this up. Oh, won't you do it? 
Okay. He's a little bit different than the other ones. Okay, we gotta time it right. Fury kill. Let's grab the scrap from him. Okay, so he was way tougher than the other ones. Can we... Little underground area, okay. Ooh, okay, it goes even deeper than that. Absolutely horrifying. I can hear people screaming. What's this? Collect a project part? Oil well. The project part can be used to build the oil well project in Jeet Stronghold. Oh, nice. So that's a camp upgrade. Don't know if you guys can keep catching that, but there is somebody or something screaming down here. Transfer tank. Okay, yeah, we know what we gotta do. Let's pick this up. There it is. Listen. Someone's fighting with something or something's going down. Let's get behind that. Ooh, okay. Climb back up. We're slowly taking apart this place. It does take a minute. Little crane there. But yeah, we're slowly getting there. It's gonna keep you guys with me for this. Just in case that happens. Oh! That's what I was terrified about in the last episode, let alone this one. Oh, someone's face just appearing around the corner. All right, more scrap. More fuel tanks. What's this? Wait, that's food? Yeah, no, 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 no. I know desperate times and all that, but yeah, I'm not that desperate right now. Oh, here we go. Is that a war cry? Yeah, it is. Okay, let me be one of these. Over there. I can take care of him. I've got rid of all of them with that one. <laughs> that one explosive. Go on then, big guy. Let's do this. Oh, the head. <laughs> it's so good. What are you doing? I'm not wasting a shell. I don't actually have one. Let's have a little bit of fun. Pick this up. Light it. And you're going to get rid of the fuel bank too. I mean the transfer tank. Yeah, and I dropped this before. I'm not entirely sure what was in it. It's more... More fuel. Oh, okay. That might be a supply of their fuel as well. Makes sense. Okay, get out of the way. The dredges dismantled. Destroy transfer tanks. Allies have now populated the camp to provide regular deliveries of scrap. That's two of them we've got now. We'll take it. Threat lowered. Okay, we're going to do more though. Okay, five and we're down to a scrap is a currency. The wastelander should never be squandered. In the hands of Chum, scrap can be turned into powerful upgrades for both the Magnum Opus and Max himself. Scrap can begin in various ways collected across the wasteland. The most efficient way is to search camps. But Max can also gain scrap by looting and defeating enemies in the vehicle. Okay, yeah, we know that. We've seen it. We can't build no jack without no scrap. We'll find what we need. So we gotta find more. We got it. Collect a total of 300 scrap. So we only had to take down one then. Let's have a look. Where should we go next? We've got these areas around here. Scavenging location. Yeah, sure. Let's try one of those. I do want to make these episodes longer too, guys. I've noticed. Listen to it. Oh, she deserves so much more than this, but 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 this will do for the jack. Yeah, it will. Like I was saying, I do want to make the uh, the episodes longer. You guys seem to be enjoying them, so it works out best, I guess. If we uh, if we do the longer ones, we cover more of the actual storyline too. Oh, it's like a little mini camp or something. Okay. Max gets to flex a little bit more of his boxing. Here we go. You want to score this henchman? Oh, God, the way that you can... Oh, you can parry it, too. Good to know. Nice. Oh, 
Oh, he's so, so clean. And then the rage finish as well. We get it against the rock. Oh, with that one punch. Did he have Wolverine claws? That's something. That reminded me as well what Chumbucket just said. I think I called it the Land Mover. I believe Scrotus' vehicle was called the Land Mower or something like that. Or I might have that backwards. Oh, there's the dust cloud. Okay. Chum's brainchild, the Magnum Opus, is a machine with vast potential upgrading is key to Max's survival in the wasteland. Upgrades for the Magnum Opus are unlocked by reducing threat and purchases. Yeah, we know all this. We gotta get out of the, uh, the dust storm, though. Oh, that was. Something just fell down. 304. Use the garage to install upgrades for the jack. Let's take a look at the top of this before we actually do that. It's going to be interesting to see as well if there are any, like, really, really big sand clouds that come in. How that affects if you're fighting a group of them. Because if you can't see them, you don't know what you're fighting, right? And that'd be amazing if you just get interrupted by that. An unpredictable environment. There's some more dinky D. Can we eat that? No, we can't. The exhaust upgrade, baby exhaust for the jack, is now ready to be installed at the garage. Okay, that's good. Nothing else going down here. Can we get down this without dying? Nice. Alright. Looks like we're going to be putting an exhaust on it. I hear the exhaust are rattling, Saint. And we've got the parts for our most sacred upgrade. Let me switch it out. Huh, please? Garage. New. Okay, we can get a ramming grill. I think the exhaust is where we should go, right? Maybe exhaust. I suppose the uninitiated would say they're on the righteous track. But we need more than this. Please say we do. Top speed 20% faster. Yeah, we're going to take that. Install. And there it is. Have all the makings. All the pieces. We stand ready to finish the jack now. The final touch we can and must lay at Dirt Gash's stronghold. Drive to Gut Gash's stronghold. Oh, we're going to get into it now. Gut Gash, I think we saw his convoy in the previous episode. Oh, can you imagine how this sounds? If you don't care for cars and stuff, then I totally understand that you would not find any of this interesting with the vehicle. And every time I mention the sounds and stuff, but if you like cars, then you know, <laughs> especially if you like cars that sound like this got another scrap opportunity over there where we can scavenge some more. Let's keep it going. Definitely faster now too. And again, I keep saying as well that I'm going to use the controller to drive the car, but it's just, it's easy just to use the controller or the keyboard once you get the hang of it. Where are we headed? Are we far off? I'm keeping an eye on that gas meter. Ooh, what are you? I have to take that thing down. I know I'm getting sidetracked, but I have to take that thing down. It's got something above its head that looks like a scrap icon. <laughs> Come here. Let's try and get him. No. Can we get the door off that? Nice. Oh, he's got like the green headlights too. Can we take him out of the vehicle? That'll work. Is he down? Yeah, I think he's done. Why was your vehicle so different? Oh, wait. Did you actually have scrap? Okay, so if we destroy you, are you going to give us all the scrap that you've just found? I think I might be onto something with this. I'm not, I'm not totally crazy with this idea, right? You guys saw it too. Look, that thing above it. Here we go. Ooh, it's got decent armor, though. Just getting a little bit more of a run-up. Maybe coming off the downhill section. There it is. Halfway. Okay, we definitely need more speed. No snipers, right? Those turbines look so incredibly cool. All right, this should do it. Plenty of speed. Almost. Almost. Oh, my angel. That was close. Oh. Oh, careful next time. I beg of you. So worth. So, so worth. I know we destroyed a lot of the Magnum Opus with that, but... Oh, 
the amount of scrap that just gave us. Seven. Yeah, it's just going to keep... Oh, it's seven each time. Okay, yeah, we're definitely going to take all this. Going to give these guys some water. Hold on, hold on. Drink. There you go. Oh, he doesn't trust us? Drink it. Not everybody's bad. Thank you, stranger. Nice. Remember this. Oh, he'll remember it. Oh, you want to do this? Oh, did you see the spikes on that? Oh, get in, get in, get in, get in. Oh, Max. Oh. Okay, we're going. Oh, my God, no. Don't talk about it, guys. If we don't talk about it, it didn't happen, okay? <laughs> Nobody saw it. Oh, there's two of them here. Oh, just missed. All right. Let's head this way. We've definitely got more speed now. Not as much as that. I do not want to ram that thing. I'm going to use the harpoon. I got to get rid of him. Oh. Wait for that harpoon again. Can we take a wheel off? We should be able to, unless it's got, like, defenses or something. Let's get the door off it. Ooh, whoa, he's got red glowing eyes. Is he one of those things that we came up against before? Ooh, what is that? The deadly fruit. Can we not? Oh, yeah, I can't latch onto anything. That works. Oh, he's got armor. <gasps> nope. Yeah, I know, Chumbuck. Yeah, I know. It's a little bit rough right now. We're okay, though. And, yeah, I can't get him. I've got to maybe get it perfectly side on with the side of the car. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Oh, get out the vehicle. Jump bucket, get out. It's going to explode. No, jump bucket, run. Wait. There's, oh, I thought I'd narrowly missed that. I wanted to see if it exploded. Oh, my God. Okay, yeah, no, I thought that was going to be a really cool moment. You okay? Let's go this way. Okay, Chum Bucket fixed the car up. This is going to have to be our lifeline. I don't have the ammunition in order to shoot him. That was my one shot. If I can get behind him, though, I think he might have something on the back. Let's get that side off, too. Okay, yeah, I've got access to him now. Ooh. These guys are not easy to take out, either, like... There it is. Oh, you son of a bitch. Can I kick him? Okay, we're going to quick repair. Actually, no. No, 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 no. We'll let Chum Bucket do his thing. Let's collect the stuff. I like the clothes he's wearing. Look at this. There was somebody really struggling down here, too. Let me go and give them some water if we can. They were literally face down. I think you guys might have caught them. Oh, I don't have anything left. I'm so sorry, guys. I don't have anything. We gotta get, we gotta find an area that has it. <laughs> We're struggling too on half health. I wanna hear this though before we move on. Might be able to roll a closer in this. Drop mines. Oh, listen to that. Oh, this thing is so nasty. The, the fact that you get mines in these, I wonder if we can do that. I've gotta do that. When they're chasing me and you just deploy mines like that. Oh. So that's what they'll have instead of the uh, the nitrous then. Okay. Alright, Chum Bucket. Let's go and take a look at Gutgash's stronghold. See what we can get out of there. Hopefully we can get some uh, some water from it. Just another shipwreck. Oh, don't be fooled. Where we see a wreck, his people see a park. Let us save them for when the water returns. They protect what's theirs. Tooth and nail! That is one hell of a door. Oh, don't do it. 
yet now they travel together as one. Oh, cluster, cluster. Only a time to kill them. It is. It's the little count of the carburetor. Oh, who could forget that whimpering? And the devious suckling face. Oh, dead a dozen times if you do, boy. Yeah, that's true. We've come to deal. Uh, nothing else. I got gas. So pitch me, little man, before I make a blood sport of your driver here. Oh, he's no ordinary driver. This one, no. Oh, you're sent to me by the angel cooking mustard Angel. We parlay with the water gods here. We desire to, to make way to the dead baron. My sanctum. My sanctum is, is destroyed. It's burned. Everything I have is gone. Gone. I, I have nothing left. And please, this car needs healing, she does. And, and strengthening. Yes, and if, if you let us stay here and, and rebuild, then, then I offer to you these. Hands of a black finger. Yes. You'll have one chance for me. Oh, oh. <laughs> thanks. Thanks, me. Thanks, me. Yes. Keep your hands where I can see them. Keep the deviant black finger leashed. Don't need any of his perversions on my ship. <laughs> Poor chum bucket. I, I need welding wire to do my work. Make do for now. I'll find you welding wire. I actually really do love that, the way they're using the whole black finger thing, because if you think about it, with a mechanic, that would be so valuable in this scenario. Oh, there's things that we can upgrade for him, too. Like, if we uh, if we find them around, we can help upgrade his area. Oh, some scrap there, though. Yoink, we're taking that. But yeah, the whole thing with the mechanic, or as he calls himself, a black finger, basically, these are their chariots. They transport them from A to B in a safe way. Imagine getting stranded out in the desert, or what would be classed as the desert out there. The wasteland without your vehicle so having somebody like him it is worth keeping him around if you can get something from it i love that at the beginning i was like wait why would they even care but it makes sense now scrap crew parts needed collect the welding wire let's see if we can find that first yeah people are still not doing so good disease Mutations from everything that happened during the apocalypse. Give me that wire. It'd be so cool to pick Chum Bucket's brains, though, as well, about how much he actually knows. If you just gave him everything that his heart desired to build something, could you imagine what he would come up with? Because right now, he's doing it with whatever's available. If you give him everything he needed, oh, <laughs> I could come up with something amazing. Use the garage to install the upgrades for the jack. Okay, let's do that. Ripperoni rims. The ripperoni rims will help the sacred warrior dish out some grinding pain. I wonder if that will actually destroy their wheels as well, though. It's 300. Yeah, we don't have enough for that right now. Border spikes, 200. Is this an upgraded harpoon? Oh, 300. Okay. Sniper rifle, that's another upgrade, 200. Okay, we're getting into the expensive stuff now. 300 and that is the major v6 oh yeah we'll be sneaking up on the v8 in no time armor we can get that one let's just go ahead and get the armor that works the jack built nice do we do it story mission complete a wasteland classic chum bucket calls it the jack and to me it's one step closer to the car i need gas town remains the goal but we are not ready just yet Magnum opus, consecrated corpus of the angel combustion. Your guise is now that of the jack. <laughs> complete, ready, deadly, and ready for anything. It won't be complete until we get the V8 from Gastown. Oh, there and it is. <laughs> indeed, yeah. And maybe, maybe not even then. <laughs> Sounded a little bit evil from him. Okay, so we've seen Jeet now, and now we're at Gutgash's place. 
The next mission is locked. Interact with the mission starter to see the requirements. Okay, yeah. So I think I'm going to have to do a little bit of grinding in the meantime. But guys, I think this is where we're going to leave it. I felt like I started the episode five minutes ago, but hopefully you guys are enjoying these longer ones. If you are, then of course, I'm just going to keep them coming. So for now, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And I'll see you all in the next one.